Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing questions 10 to 22 for the 2022 Mathematics State Test for New York State. So let's get started. For question 10, it says, Zach earns the same amount of money each week doing yard work. If he earns $36 at the end of four weeks, how much money does Zach earn each week? So we know that he earns $36 in four weeks. So to find out how much he earns each week, you have to divide 36 by four. And that gives you nine. So he earns nine dollars at the end of each week. For question eleven, it says, "What is the value of seven times 70? So to the fast way to do this is to multiply seven times seven, which gives you forty-nine. And there's one zero at the end of each of the factors. I mean, all of the factors. So you put one zero at the end of 49, which gives you 490 as the answer. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 12, it says a student draws a rectangle on a sheet of paper. He labels two of the sides, one unit and the two other sides, two units. What is the area of the rectangle? So to answer this, you need to know the area of a rectangle, which is length times width square units so you always put square units at the end of your answer and here it's one unit long and i mean it's one unit long wait i mean it's two units long and one unit wide so two times one is two so the area is two square units which is answer choice a Let's move on to the next problem. For question 15, it says, what makes the equation below true? 48 divided by question mark equals eight. So here you can use fact families and you could just do 48 divided by eight and that would give you six as the value of the question mark. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 16, it says, the shaded part of the model below represents a fraction. Which figure is shaded to represent a fraction equivalent to the model shown? So the model represents two fourths, which is also one half. And answer choice A represents four sixths, which is not equal to one half, it's equal to two thirds. Answer choice B represents two sixths, which is equal to one third, not one half. Answer choice C shows two eighths, which is equal to one fourth and not one half. So that leaves us with D, which is equal to four eighths, and that is equal to one half, meaning it should also be equal to two fourths. So D is the correct answer for this question. Let's move on to the next problem. For question 22, it says, Greg walked one mile from his house to a store. After walking two six mile, he stopped to smell flour. After walking another 36 mile, he stopped to tie a shoe. Which number line correctly shows the locations where Greg smelled the flower and where he tied his shoe? So, for answer choice A, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units between the home and the store. However, it shows that Greg sniffed a flower after one part of this entire number line, which represents one sixth, not two sixths. So A is not the correct answer. For answer choice B, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six units. And Greg stopped at small flower after two parts, meaning he walked two six miles. And then after one, two, three units, he tied his shoe, which is correct. So. B is the correct answer for this question. And the answer is not, I mean, the reason why it's not C or D is because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight parts to the number line. And it just not, it just would not work out because two sixths is not equivalent to any number with eight in the denominator so it's not c and the same and the same goes for d so b is the correct answer let's move on to the next problem 
actually no we're done so uh that is all for today if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one bye